Hi everyone, as you saw in my last video I had to modify my laptop BIOS in order to make it work with an external graphics card. I got a custom BIOS from one of the experts on the BIOS mods forums and I flash it to my motherboard. The expert from BIOS mods also told me not to disable the internal GPU of the laptop since that will break the laptop. And guess what yours truly did? Yep, I disabled the GPU and bricked my laptop. So in this video I will show you how I uh, fixed my laptop and flash a new BIOS on it. Firstly you need to go back to the expert and tell him what a great thing you did. He will ask you to buy two cheap devices from eBay, this one and this one. What we will do is to manually flash a new BIOS directly on the BIOS chip on the motherboard. These two devices help you do this without desoldering the chip from the motherboard and all the hassle that comes with that. After 3 weeks of waiting the items finally arrived from China. Now you need to dismantle your laptop and take out your motherboard. You need to find your BIOS chip on the motherboard, usually it's a square chip with 8 pins. Mine is this one, yours could be different, ask the expert for advice. You also need a second computer and as well a software tool. The software tool will be provided by your expert. The software will be installed on the second computer and it will do all the reading, erasing and writing of the chip. After you located the chip, connect together the two devices you've got from eBay. They need to be connected like this. Pin 1 on the chip is marked with a circle and the red wire from the alligator clip needs to be connected to it. Then the pins go to the second device in the location marked with BIOS, which is the slots closer to the USB port. Then you pull out the lever and connect the device to the USB port of your second computer. Make note that this contraption is quite short so your computer needs to be close to the motherboard. After you connected everything, you open the software and click on read. The software should detect the chip type automatically and the screen should be filled with, with characters, which is normal. You have to click on save and dump the result to a file and send this file to your expert. After some time he will do his magic and send you back a new file which will contain the repaired BIOS. After you get this file, connect back the cables as before, if you disconnected them of course, and do the same procedure to read from the chip. After you read from the chip, click on the erase button to erase the chip. After the chip is erased, open in the software the BIOS file that the expert gave you and then click on write. And you're done! Assemble back your laptop and enjoy it. Also, if you find this video helpful, please remember to share it with your friends and hit the like button. And why not subscribe?